Gigi, presumably just raring to go. Yeah, um, it's been a very long preseason. Um, we've worked you know, on a lot of things and it's been long, I think. It's tough, you know, I mean, mentally and stuff, you really just want to get going. And it's also it's also a bit scary, you know, you never know what's, what's going to happen. You know, I mean, you're so excited. So it's going to be, like, you're probably going to be breathing through a few straws. I mean, it's going to be tough on the fitness and stuff. But, I mean, you want to get game fit and you don't. That's why we want to do it. We want to try and get match fit for the for the Prem. So, I mean, these are perfect games. and It's going to be a good, strong opposition. So it'll be lovely to um, to test yourself, you know, and just get better. And you talk about that sort of almost shock to the system. Yeah, well, I mean, how much does experience kind of teach you then to be able to deal with that? Oh, uh, yeah, it's not like, like, luckily, it's not most of us, you know, it's not your first preseason. So um, you learn how to, um, and what to expect, basically. I mean, I think the first time that some of these young guys are coming for their first senior preseason, it is a bit of a shock, you know. Um, but yeah, I think you, you don't have to think about it. It's one of the things we all have to go through at every single club is to go through their first game and get that under your belt to get to the next one. I don't think, I mean, there's, it's going to be a crazy long season. I think from now on, there's going to be about 20 weeks without a break, you know, which is it's tough on the body and it's tough on, on everyone. So, I mean, to get there now this preseason might have been good for it because we could give us a bit of time, a bit more time to work on things that you were struggling with um, and things to work on. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, it's... All in all, it's, it's a good thing in a way for me. For me personally, I think just because of, of things that I wanted to fix on the back of, like I heard Tojo say, um, on the back of last season, which was a bit of a difficult one for me too. Yeah, and obviously yeah. you finished with an ankle injury at the end of last season. Is that all okay now? So that's speculation. Um, yeah, it's all good now. Yeah, all fine. Nothing wrong. Um, yeah, all good. Yeah. Excellent news. And how big an opportunity is this for you at the start of this season? Because think back 12 months ago, you really started on fire and you, you, know, you played the bulk of your 18 games in that first half of the season. Yeah, I think the first six months I played uh, my 18 games and then I um, shouldn't probably go into that, but I mean, and then I didn't play again. So I'm quite excited. I mean, I'm not going to change. I mean, you can go back on the last six months last year or the first six months. I'll probably deliver the same. That's my mentality. That's what I do. I'm not, I'm not here to play half-hearted rugby or whatnot. So hopefully the people that are in charge and stuff can see that and go with it. And I suppose that enthusiasm, what you do have is you have that chance to lay down the marker though, don't you? And sort yeah. of set the standard at the start. Yeah, I guess we can. Um, I also think there's going to be a lot of mistakes, and a lot of errors. I mean, it is the first head out and we are going to try things, but you never know, things might just come and work, you know, work as, as according to plan. But I mean, we want to lay a good marker down and want to actually show improvement. I think that's what they are looking for. So. See if we can do that. And thoughts on Bristol? Obviously, the youngsters kind of set a, a marker last week against London Irish, played with all the, you know, yeah. the enthusiasm that you'd yeah. expect from them. I suppose, you know, you've got people like that kind of snapping at your heels, looking yeah. to try and challenge you as well. Yeah, well, that's, that's the motivation you need. I think once you become comfortable in your position um, and no one chasing you, that's actually when you become you can say complacent but that's when you don't work on what you want to work on and there's no real ambition to improve so i think it's good it's a healthy competition of guys in front of you ahead of you below you wherever it's it's good because you want to actually prove to you yourself and to everyone that you are better or you know that it is healthy competition they had a good chance in front of a good good crowd to show what they're made of and then we're going to have a good chance against bristol um away so it'd probably be a good crowd i reckon and um you know it is a it's a great opportunity because I, I've, you know, I'm guessing the team will be quite loaded themselves, you know. So it should be a good and fun competition before the real competition, if I can say that. I'm not saying this is not, you know, I mean, you, you know what I mean. We want to, we want to win trophies, and um, there's quite a few important ones, you know. So yeah, and you played in a, a West Country derby against Bristol last season as well. How does a South African view West Country derbies? Man, to be honest, just another rugby game. I mean, anything, I mean, from school rivalries growing up, I mean, it's the same thing. I mean, everyone just gives the extra, there's an extra 5%, the crowd's a bit louder, those type of things. For me, um, it's always performing as a team. I hope we can gel together and really play well together. Um, and if we do that, I mean, they're going to raise the standards too. It's just going to be a one-up thing the whole time, you know, so it should be fun. Uh, but yeah, West Country Derby, 
I'm not going to say it doesn't mean much to me, but yeah, I'm I am staying here, and I'm I've been here for a year now, so I guess it it is of importance, you know. So what more can I say? On that? I'm just we're just here to play rugby, and we we really want to enjoy it. So.